Okay, so now that we know what each level means in terms of infrastructure design, let's look at the planning implications LTS has. Here's a map produced by Alta. The colored streets represent level 1 or level 2 LTS bike facilities. Looking at this map, you might say, great, most of the map is covered, so this must be a good bicycling city. Wrong. If I wanted to get from here down to here, I could take this route with a few level 4 or level 3 roads in between. However, only 7% of people say they feel comfortable riding on level 3 infrastructure, and less than 1% for level 4. The vast majority of people would feel comfortable taking this route, which is highly inconvenient. Therefore, these clusters of good infrastructure end up becoming islands. So planners need to be careful to consider LTS when thinking about overall network connectivity. One study from Fair and Peers suggests that low-stress infrastructure that is direct is more important than other factors like total number of miles and increasing bicycle ridership, and this is regardless of the rest of the network. Think of it this way. Let's say your home is here. Uh, downtown's here and your work is a few blocks outside of downtown. You could ride a few blocks from your house on the sidewalk, which is a little inconvenient, onto a direct, low-stress path that takes you right to downtown. And once you're downtown, you can park your bike and walk to your final destination. Or you could try to take a route that's 100% low-stress infrastructure, but that might be less desirable. And if you make a wrong turn, you might find yourself in a high-stress environment that you're trying to avoid in the first place. I hope this video gave you a good understanding of what LTS is and why it's important. If you have any questions or want links to sources, feel free to reach out in the comments below.